Tyson from Turkey. I'm an academician at Trakya University. I have attended the youth exchange program which is called Through Intercultural Learning to Better Chances for Employment in Ohrid, Macedonia. I was the leader of the Turkish team of four. Hi, my name is Fabio, I'm 13 years old and I'm from Italy. And in July I was in Ohrid, Macedonia for a youth exchange about youth, and youth employment. My name is Angela Velikovska and I was one of the facilitators of the Youth Exchange in Ohrid. My name is Maria Krstovska and I was one of the facilitators of the Youth Exchange. First of all, being with young people gave me the life energy and their way of thinking and doing something was so inspiring to me. Youth Exchange program provided us an opportunity to discuss and confront employment issues while learning about each other's countries and cultures. Through my participation in the program, my planning, problem solving and leadership skills, cross-cultural awareness and expression competencies were most likely developed. It was really interesting during the project to discuss about youth employment and the topics related to this uh, with other people, other youngsters from all over Europe and to confront the situation in every country. Uh, also, it was really interesting to discuss about how to write a CV, how to have uh, an interview to, to look for a job. And during the week, of course, was uh, also fun to to discover other people, other culture and other countries and our intercultural sessions. Maybe the biggest uh, challenge in the beginning was the language because the majority of the people that were participants of the youth exchange didn't understand English very well and were not able to express themselves. And the communication was a bit difficult because uh, all the people didn't want to speak in front of the others. But uh, with the time, this was um, overcome. And yeah, people said that they improved English and other languages. And uh, the easiest part was that uh, the facilitators were able to communicate in another language also. So yeah, they were helping the, the leaders and the participants. So hey, I discovered a new ability and I know that I have to be more attentive and my ambition I have to set goals and try to find the best way to reach them. And then B, I have to be brave, I have to run out from my comfort zone, meet new people and then I have to build bridges from my past to my future, from myself to you. And then I have to be, I have to be myself, I have to grow up as a person. And then see, I have to be caring, I have to be caring with the others. Because we are so different, we need to care about. It. And I have to be conscious, I have to be conscious of myself and my possibilities. And then see, I have to be creative, because sometimes life gives us a question, but there are so many answers we can choose. And we have to choose the best for us, the one is more suitable for our life. Participants learn how to write the CV and the motivational letter. Uh, not only that, but that was the most important thing for us to learn. And uh, yeah, they also learned to to use how to use uh, Europass CV because it's uh, really useful to know that it's one of the CVs that you can upgrade. So they said they were happy to to know that now because they didn't know it before. We focused a lot on the intercultural learning and we also made a difference between the formal, non-formal and informal learning which was, uh, according to the evaluations of the participants, one of the most interesting things that they learned about uh, the industry. with my students on how to write the CV and motivational letter uh, and also we have talked about informal and formal learning styles and we did some team building activities. I also used energizers that I learned during the program. At class having everyone's attention for a certain time is not that easy and I realized that using energizers helps to extend the attention time.
uh, for that I want to recommend everybody, everybody to do this kind of experience at least once in a life because it's useful for us, it's useful for the other, it's useful for everybody. And so I think it's a good way to improve our adulting somehow. For that, come on guys, let's go. Everybody should do this. Everybody should go for a youth exchange at least once. This project is a great chance for young people from all over the world to get to know other cultures and improve their intercultural dialogues. To me, learning from each other is the best outcome of the project that I get. Thank you very much.